Hello and welcome back to another video on my VW T4 2.5 TDI and today in this episode we are going to be removing the cylinder head. But first of all before I get into removing the cylinder head I am going to test out my new little gunk gun, air gun degreaser kind of thing. Um, yeah because as you can see it's a bit minging down the end down the back of the engine and I thought well while we've got the room to get in there give it all a bit of a blast and I can also test to see how good this um, this equipment is so I'm using I'm going to use a bit of brake cleaner in the old uh, air gun and we'll spray it on um, oh, I'll give it a bit of a scrub as well but you don't need to see me giving it a good scrub I'll just show you a little bit of me spraying it all on and uh, we'll have a look to see what it's like and then once this is all done we'll crack on and get the cylinder head off. So we're almost ready to get the head off. Um, TDC? No, not really sure. Kind of. Um, there's my bar that I made up to lock it off so I can remove the um, crankshaft, the pulley, and the bolt, that stretch bolt. I made a few little marks you can barely see. For the order of what the bolt's got to come off, half a turn each. In order until they become finger tight, and also I got my pen to make some references on the belt. This timing belt is my reference. Oh no, I'm gonna have to get a better pen. I'll go get some chalk in a minute. Right, so I got that dampener stretch bolt out. Um, mate, that is the longest one. I, Mate, that's there so long. That is long. Proper long. And you can't use a windy gun on there because the bolt's too long and the windy gun... I should have taken the wheel off, really. But that's laziness for you. Done it by hand instead. So now I'm just going to take off these uh, Allen bolts and then remove that dampener, vibration dampener. So it came away from the uh, timing cog quite easy actually, which is a bonus. And then you can see all this powdery stuff in here, lovely. That's all that diamond coated washer, which is um, broken down. But that diamond coated washer, it's so thin, I couldn't believe it. I'm going to have to get another one of them, another stretch bolt. Well, actually I don't know what I'm going to get because it all depends on what the engine's like. Bit of a blowout, happy days, jobs are good in. Right now I'm going to release these, well the timing belt tensioner up here, I'm uh, going to release that so I can release the tension on the timing belt obviously and then we can take the belt off, happy days, and then on the other side we've also got the tensioner on the diesel timing belt, um, so I'll be taking that tensioner off as well, that's what that one looks like, so again undo them and then uh, this one rotates clockwise and the one on the timing belt end, that one rotates anti-clockwise, just to take the slack off. But you actually have to remove this, um, this tensioner completely to get the belt off.
and welcome back another another dry day so we're going to carry on with the van even though it is christmas morning so merry christmas to everyone i uh, hope you've all had a, a lovely morning opening all your presents looking forward to some uh, christmas turkey pigs in blankets some ah oh, roast potatoes lovely crispy roast potatoes oh, merry christmas everybody so last night where we left it, I got the diesel pump belt off and I took the cam belt off as well. Um, I didn't record that because in the space of like the 10 minutes between taking the diesel belt off and then bringing all of that in, making sure it's all hung up and safe place. By the time I went back out, it was too dark to really film. I didn't want to get the spotlight back out again. Um, so I did carry on last night. Uh, I got all the head bolts cracked, um, all finger tight. Uh, just taken them out um, and then I went to take the head off and I was trying to cheat, I was trying to leave the um, pulleys on there, especially the timing belt pulley but it looks like I've got to take that off to get the plastic cover off um, because it seems to be catching somewhere and I want to have a look to see where it's catching uh, so what I've done because I don't have a tool to remove the pulley, I just made this up I know it looks a bit weird but being Christmas morning and that, I didn't want to be welding and cutting and making loads of noise. So just using a hand tool, put some little slots on it, bent it round, and that actually fits perfectly. Cut a little nuts. So, um, happy days. So let's go out there and get the camshaft pulley off. And then it's removing the head. Let's go do it. Right, I have already cracked this nut but for demonstrations purposes of this little handy tool that I've done, um, this is how it works. So that goes on like that. You've got the two bolts um, and a nut holding the bolts in place and they lock into the little holes and then the 18 mil spanner onto the end. Uh, bit of a nightmare because I don't have 18 mil sockets. Uh, none of my half inch sockets, I don't have an 18 which is uh, very annoying. I don't know, I thought I did have an 18, but clearly I don't. Right, so then, uh, yeah, now that's off. Nice and easy. I don't know what it's talked up at, about 100 and something, I think. That's what it felt like, about 100. I don't know. We'll soon find out when we're putting it all back together. Yeah, so using a little, um, a little tent peg, happy days, mate, because I don't have a, wood, um, a little, what do you call them, like a, Drift. Is it a drift? Yeah. Something like that. Because I don't have any tools like that. Uh, a good old tent peg does a job. A little tap. And that um, that cam pulley just comes straight off. Nice and easy. And now I can take this plastic cover off. This little casing. And I can get in and have a look to see if there's anything else holding that head on. Right, so closer inspection, um, I'll tell you what I've seen. I've seen that the alternator bracket uh, is actually bolted on and held on to the head, which uh, when I was reading, because I've read the Haynes manual and I've watched a few videos as well, but no one's mentioned about this little bracket, this little bolt. It's a tiny little 13 mil. I didn't want to take the alternator all the way off, so I took the bolts out for the alternator and then, you know, just using a little pry bar, pried the alternator away from the head just enough so I could get a 13 mil spanner from underneath so I could get a 13 mil spanner from underneath up there and you know undo that that bolt that's uh, holding the bracket on for the alternator which is yeah clearly bolted into the head so I'm gonna go ahead get that removed and then it's well head pretty much ready to come off I'm going to take out all the bolts now. Nice little magnet, that's what you want. Makes your life so much easier. So I'm going to whip these out and then uh, get the head off.
yeah, it's not uh, it's not dark, but it is getting that way. I think I've got about half hour of normal light left, and then it will um, it'll be too dark to film or do anything. So I'm going to call it a day now, because you can't actually see the boars. Um, I I put my finger in, had a feel, and piston well cylinder two doesn't feel great. It feels like it's worn at the top um, on one edge, one side. To, uh, so mm, yeah I did have a feeling all the other balls but it's too hard to see so we'll get out here tomorrow we'll get a bright light in there uh, and we'll try and have a look at that actually no tell a lie I won't do that tomorrow uh, I'll be having a look the day after what is it boxing day tomorrow so just have a look here I had to redraw another hole just to move that bolt because obviously the diesel part timing belt pulley is a different size to the camshaft timing belt pulley so yeah I just drilled another hole moved the bolt and that mod but yeah that was spot on so that's now sort of like a universal tool that I've got for both ends on the cam happy days also this end there was like a, on that cam when I took the wheel off there was like there's like a gap for a woodruff key but there's no no gap for a woodruff key on the actual pulley itself so yeah i can't you can't see but you know in later video when we start dismantling the head you better see but yeah my question is is do you know should there be a woodruff key in there because there wasn't one so i don't know yeah happy days but that made it nice and easy just holding it once that's once you've cracked it it's it doesn't take too much to get these bolts out And then what I'm going to do is, um, I'm just going to leave it here because I want to actually clean everything and see what I'm working with. You can see the engine blocks just sat on a couple of blocks of wood there just to keep it, you know, obviously so it's not sat on the cam or anything. And then when I turn it over the other way, the uh, where the valves protrude, you know, it won't, um, it won't be sat on the valves. It'll just be sat on the wooden blocks instead. Happy days. But yeah, we'll have a closer look of everything. We'll get all of that off tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, we'll get some of that off. We'll start stripping down the head. And having a look, I will examine the the surface of the cylinder head. Or have a, get me old magnifying glass out, see if there's any uh, cracks. But no, it should be all right. But there, yeah, we'll save that for another video. So thanks for watching. Um, please like, subscribe. And I shall see you when we take this apart. And we clean all of this, which will be tomorrow. Oh, and also, I will be doing a separate video on the vacuum pump. So if you want to see me strip that down and rebuild it, clean it all out, service the vacuum pump, you know, make sure you subscribe because that will be coming out soon. Yeah, happy days. Well, Merry Christmas. And no doubt I will upload before New Year. So Merry Christmas. Stay safe. God bless. Bye.